And I watch this. Lord Nicholas Windsor, you're the, your great grandfather was King George V and your first cousin once removed is Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II herself. And you're in Australia, in Melbourne, for the inaugural uh, oration of the March for the Babies, which you so eloquently delivered last night. It's not the first time, of course, that you've spoken on this issue. You're the patron of the Right to Life Charitable Trust, which, of course, aims to advance this cause. Why is the issue of abortion so close to your heart? And is this something that could be in part related to your conversion to Catholicism? Well, thank you. Um, it's a great pleasure to, to, to speak to you this afternoon. Um, I think that um, uh, my uh, becoming engaged in this uh, question of um, the, uh, the uh, protection of, um, of unborn children um, uh, and the, perhaps the, the degree to which it, 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 it struck me as uh, important uh, has something to do with how uh, I encountered it for the first time in my 20s um, when, of course, the uh, permissive uh, legal situation uh, towards abortion in, uh, in Great Britain had been in place for 30 years and, of course, uh, huge numbers of, uh, of unborn children had been, had been aborted. Um, uh, I realized that any discussion of this had been entirely absent from, uh, from, my, from my, my childhood, from my, from my life up to that point, whether it was in school or, or, or at home. Or, uh, so uh, when I, through my uh, uh, interest, uh, my growing interest in, in the Catholic Church, uh, and in particular in the, in the teachings of, uh, of John Paul II, um, realized that not only was the, the, the case being made for uh, the duty of the state to uh, give protection to uh, the most vulnerable members of society, that is to say, those who are not yet born. Um, I realized not only the, 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 the cogency of, of the arguments that were being made out of the deep, deep uh, moral tradition of the, of the Catholic Church, but also uh, that uh, uh, an absence of discussion on such an obviously serious subject was in itself a matter for great concern. Why, why, why in England uh, was this the case? Uh, was this just a settled issue that everybody was content with and, and that nobody suffered from and there were no uh, uh, ill consequences of it? And it clearly, once I started talking to people about it, I realized, of course, that there were, not only were there consequences, but there, there were other people who, who, who cared deeply about it. But I, I discovered that uh, well, it was my experience that uh, the, the voices that were being most clearly uh, were expressing uh, um, concern were, were, were in the Catholic Church. I later discovered that that was, it was not uniquely the case. But, um, and so, yes, it formed part of the journey into the Catholic Church because that, the moral seriousness with which the, the Church took this subject and, of course, panoply of other, uh, other questions to do with, to do with uh, human uh, dignity. Um, um, was very was very attractive.